a neuroscientist, if anybody's not familiar, it's just people who, you know, work on uh, the brain. It's the science of the brain, basically, mm -hmm. you know? So they did a study, they were taking people that had um, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay. And let's say, let's say this person's uh, particular uh, quirk or whatever you want to call it, their, their mannerism, whatever it was that they had to do. Let's say that mm -hmm. their, their thing was when every time they pass this light switch, they got to hit this light switch every time or they feel weird. It throws them off, right? So yeah. they would take these people, these OCD, these people that had OCD, and they would force them to pass the light switch without hitting the light switch. And what happened over a period of time was that it literally started to change the physiology of their brain. It started to change the physical makeup of their brain, and it mm -hmm. created new neural pathways that made it easier for them to pass by the light switch without hitting it every time because they were continuously making that choice. So mm -hmm. whatever choices we make, when we continuously make a choice, it mm -hmm. literally changes the chemistry of our brain and makes it easier to make that same choice next mm -hmm. time we're confronted with that situation. So, yeah. so let me ask you me, something. So, yeah. so throughout your childhood and your upbringing, through all the, from being locked in the room for, you know, struggling, you know, trying to find your next meal, things that prepared you to go to prison, right? So what mm -hmm. led you up to committing a crime and landing you into prison? Because I know yeah. a lot of people always have a backstory, you know, and what led up, which you already explained, but what yeah. led up to you actually committing a crime and then landing yourself behind bars? Okay, yeah, 